Join us as we explore the fascinating world of the 1964 TV series, The Addams Family. This show, famous for its mix of dark humor and unusual characters, still captures the hearts of viewers years after it first aired. There are many interesting stories and surprising facts about this show that many people don't know. Have you come across any unusual facts about it? Or do you remember the first episode you watched and how it made you feel? We're excited to dive into the interesting stories of this show and we want to hear from you too. What's your favorite memory or experience related to this series? Share your stories with us in the comments below. Keep watching as we uncover the secrets and fun of a show that continues to amaze and entertain its audience, showing that the Adams Family is truly timeless. The Adams Family, which premiered in 1964, is a television series that stands out for its unique blend of macabre humor and quirky character portrayals. Set in a gothic mansion, the plot revolves around the lives of the Adams family, an eccentric group who delight in the bizarre and are oblivious to the fact that others find them peculiar or frightening. The family is led by Gomez Adams, an enthusiastic and lovable patriarch who has a deep affection for his wife, Morticia. Morticia, known for her elegance and wit, is the calm center of the family. Their children, Wednesday and Pugsley, enjoy playing with unusual toys and pets, often engaging in macabre activities. Uncle Fester, another key character, is known for his bizarre abilities and odd sense of humor. The household also includes the towering butler, Lurch, and the disembodied hand known as Thing. This show was groundbreaking in its portrayal of a family that, despite their oddities, show what a strong bond and affection for one another. It challenged traditional family stereotypes and was a precursor to more unconventional family representations in television. Although the series did not win major awards, its influence on pop culture is significant. The characters, particularly Wednesday with her deadpan humor, became cultural icons. The show's distinct theme music and the characters' catchphrases have remained part of popular culture long after the series ended. The success of The Addams Family led to its adaptation into various formats, including films and animated series, proving its enduring appeal. This series continues to be celebrated for its creative storytelling, unique humor, and the way it showcased the love and loyalty within a non-traditional family unit. The 1950s cultural and historical context played a significant role in shaping the themes and content of the television series that premiered in the 1960s, including the show in question. In the 1950s, America was experiencing a period of post-World War II prosperity and was marked by a strong emphasis on traditional family values and conformity. The idea of the American dream was prevalent with a focus on suburban living, consumerism, and well-defined gender roles. This period also witnessed the beginning of the civil rights movement, challenging long-standing social norms. This series, with its debut in the mid-1960s, can be seen as a response to the rigid social norms of the preceding decade. It presented a family that was a stark contrast to the typical American household of the time. The show's characters embraced what was considered unconventional or even bizarre, defying the era's traditional family image. By doing so, it subtly commented on and challenged the prevailing social expectations of the 1950s. The family's delight in the macabre and the peculiar was a form of satire on the era's conformist values. While the typical 1950s family was portrayed as striving for perfection and normalcy, this family reveled in the odd and the unconventional. Their home, a gothic mansion, stood as a physical representation of their deviation from the norm. The characters, despite or perhaps because of their eccentricities, displayed a strong, loving family bond, further challenging the notion that a normal family was the only path to happiness and unity. Moreover, the show's humor, often dark and ironic, can be seen as a reflection of the growing desire to push back against the cultural and political norms of the 1950s. It emerged at a time when America was beginning to question and reassess many of its long-held beliefs, which is evident in the series' willingness to embrace and celebrate differences. In summary, the 1950s cultural backdrop, with its focus on conformity and traditional values, greatly influenced the themes and content of this show. It served as a counterpoint to the decade's prevailing norms, using humor and unconventional characters to challenge and satirize the societal expectations of the time. 
The series not only entertained, but also subtly commented on the social and cultural shifts happening in America, making it a significant piece of television history. In creating the memorable theme song for the show, composer Vic Mizzy faced a unique challenge due to budget constraints. Filmways, the production company, decided not to hire singers for the recording. Mizzy ingeniously resolved this by overdubbing his own voice three times, effectively simulating a vocal trio. This inventive approach not only solved the budget issue, but also contributed to the distinctive and catchy nature of the theme tune, which became synonymous with the series. John Aston, who played Gomez Adams, had an interesting journey to this role. Initially, he met with Filmways executives to discuss potentially playing the butler, a character around whom the show was originally intended to revolve. However, Aston left the meeting with significant doubts, particularly about the physical demands of the role, such as wearing stilts or lifts. He eventually concluded that this role was not suitable for him. The following day, he met with producer David Levy for lunch at a popular Hollywood restaurant. During this meeting, after Aston shared his reservations about the butler role, Levy offered him the role of Gomez instead. Aston accepted, leading to a pivotal shift in the show's focus towards the eccentric head of the family. A notable aspect of the series was the train crash sequence, a favorite pastime of Gomez. Interestingly, this sequence, involving model trains colliding and exploding, was filmed only once. This single piece of footage was then reused throughout the series whenever a train wreck was needed. This approach was not only cost-effective, but also helped maintain a consistent visual for one of the show's recurring gags. These behind-the-scenes stories highlight the creative solutions and adjustments that were integral to the making of the series. They reflect the adaptability and resourcefulness of the production team and cast, which contributed significantly to the show's success and enduring appeal. The Adams family's house had a sign saying beware of the thing in their front yard. This was a fun way to show how they liked weird things and found normal things odd. Everything in their house helped create a special world that was different and interesting. After the show ended, there was a strange event. When it wasn't brought back for a third season, many unique items from the set were stolen. These pieces were important for the show's special look and feel, and their disappearance is still a mystery. It shows how much these items meant, not just for the show, but as important parts of TV history that celebrated creativity and unusual ideas. The show was based on Charles Adams' comics. In the show, Uncle Fester was Morticia's uncle, like in the comics. But they changed Mama to be Gomez's mother, which was different from the comics. This change made the relationships in the family different and interesting, showing how the show could take ideas from the comics and make them work for TV. These parts of the show, the yard sign, the missing props, and the changes in family relationships show why the series is still loved and remembered. It proves how even small details and things that happen behind the scenes can be important in making a show memorable and interesting to people for a long time.